السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you brother Adi? الحمد لله. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. You converted to Islam, right? Yeah, الحمد لله. Some time ago. When did you convert to Islam? Three or four years ago. Four or five years. I want to I want you to talk about leaving the sins and how did you leave your sins for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and you choose to live with Allah سبحانه وتعالى and you have all the temptation. You can drink. You can يعني you have everything here. There is girls and everything. But you left all of this because of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Why? And and encourage us to do the same. Okay. Well, subhanallah, when you even when before I was Muslim, like when you when you start coming near to Islam, you start thinking more about more about one God, more about Allah. You think more about the prophets and what they suffered and what they did for the sake of Allah. And you know what's our purpose in this life? Why are we here? Are we going to die today, tomorrow? You know, you're having lots of fun. One night, you say it's fun, drinking, uh, women, drugs, everything's around you. You know, you're, oh, this is great. The next day, you wake up and feel terrible. Later on that night, you're, you know, you're feeling gross. And you think the next day, like, what if I died last night, man? What if I died like that? I mean, is that how I want to die? Is that, is that what I came here for in this life? I mean, what is this? Am I just going to go in the dirt and that's, it's going to be all over? No way, man. There's no, all this stuff around us, the trees, the animals, me and you. God put us here for a reason. Everyone's here for a reason. So when are we going to leave and meet our Lord? When's, when, when's that going to happen? You start thinking about that. You start thinking, what? You know, I, I want to feel better with myself. I want, to, I, want to, I want to worship Allah. I want to worship God. What can I do for that? SubhanAllah, you're learning about Islam. Say Islam teaches this. There's only one God. The final prophet is the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You know, we should leave. We should worship Allah and think about Allah. And we should leave these sins. And when we leave these sins, we get more benefits. Uh, in return, either in this life or in the next life. And as I found personally, leaving these sins, some of them were more easier to leave than others because of the temptations that are around you all the time here. Some of them are easier to leave than others. But subhanAllah, when you leave them and really for the sake of Allah and you ask Allah, oh please Allah, I'm leaving this sin for you. Please give me something in benefit in return of this. Please help me with this. SubhanAllah, Wallahi, MashaAllah, you'll have better, you'll have better than this. You'll have better than what you had before. Much better. Given to you just because you left these sins. So Alhamdulillah, I mean, it's, it's great to be Muslim, to worship Allah. And I mean, we're not saying that we're perfect. We make sins, we make mistakes. But alhamdulillah, we turn in repentance to Allah. Because Allah is the Lord of mercy. SubhanAllah. Ar-Rahim, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, sounds great, man. But, but some people, uh, uh, they're saying that uh, the life after uh, is, uh, is going to be after a few years. It's going to be after 10 years. And I want to enjoy now. Now, I want to enjoy. I want to have fun. They can enjoy with... with in, in halal way, like in everything, you know, if you do mathematics, if you do science, if you do anything, there's a set of rules you should follow. You can't just get your PhD or your master's or your college degree, whatever. You can't just do it any way you want. There's some guidelines you should follow in order to in order to receive that. So I mean, if we want to receive something good, if we want to receive the benefits for ourselves, for our family, for our life, those people around us, we should try and follow what God, what Allah has has given us to follow. I mean, it's not for us to choose whatever we want to do. There is halal. There's the lawful. I mean, Allah lets us choose. It lets us choose whether we want to do it or not. And He gives us the halal, and the halal is fun. Alhamdulillah. I'm meeting you know, I could be downtown drinking, picking up women. But Alhamdulillah, I'm having a great time with you here. Imagine talking to the people, Mashallah, about Islam. Alhamdulillah, it's great. Remembering Allah. So Alhamdulillah, it's the choice what what we want to do. Subhanallah. Yeah, but some people say that in Islam, yeah, if I want to follow Islam, there is a lot of restrictions. This is haram, and this is haram. And uh, I can't listen to music, for example. Uh, and I can't do that. And I, I need to pray. I need to, to do many things. I just want to relax. <laughs> I want to enjoy. Alhamdulillah, there is no... There, and I swear by Allah. Allah, subhanAllah. Because I used to do some sins, subhanAllah. More so when I was... Uh, uh, before my Islam than when I'm Muslim, alhamdulillah. But really, like, you feel terrible from doing this stuff. I don't know why anyone who, who thinks they're having fun downtown with alcohol, with music, and they wake up the next morning, if they wake up, maybe Allah will take their soul when they're sleeping, man. Do they not think about that? What if they die doing all these sins? What if they die doing that stuff? I mean, they're going to die in, in 10 years. Oh, inshallah, I'll repent. I'll become shaykh in 10 years. I'll do my work. I'll read Quran then. It's probably, you won't remember anything. Subhanallah. So, I mean, uh, alhamdulillah, there are rules and guidelines that people must follow. And for me, alhamdulillah, I chose to follow those rules. I'm a Muslim, and I try and follow what Allah has said for us to follow. And for what I don't follow, I seek repentance for that, and I try and get better. But, I mean, I certainly won't be going, trying not to go towards the sins, and suffer a lot doing it even in public, and showing off these pictures on the internet all over the place, telling all my friends, friends, look at the sins that I'm doing. Look, look, 
witness, witness my sins so that on the day of judgment the people will come before me and when Allah is there, come before me and say, I saw him doing these sins. I saw him. It's not just Allah who sees you. Alhamdulillah, we'll see. We'll all see you. And all the angels and all the creation. You're doing these sins in front of everyone. Stuff for Allah. Ya Allah. So may Allah, may Allah guide us. And of course, uh, the best enjoyment is in the Jannah. Yeah, stuff for Allah, the best. You think you're having fun for five minutes? Alhamdulillah, you think you have fun for five minutes? Imagine having the best fun you ever had in your life forever. Never with any, any, anything to make you feel bad with, with, with bad speaking to people. Never seeing anything bad, never smelling anything bad. Never being, you know, you, you go to have, mashallah, a big meal. You go to Chinese food, alhamdulillah, have a big, big meal, it's so good. Or whatever you like, steak, whatever. <laughs> and you get full at the end, and you're saying, oh, it was so good, alhamdulillah. I don't want to see any more food now for, for so long. SubhanAllah, in Jannah you have the best every single time. Everything you do, it's always the best. No bad feeling, no you know, cloudy, rainy days, cold days. Alhamdulillah, we have the best in Jannah. So we should strive for that. What's our purpose here on this earth? Why do we wake up every day, man? We wake up every day just so we can get over our hangover, go downtown again? Or we wake up every day to worship Allah? Alhamdulillah, Allah, you gave me eyes to see. Alhamdulillah, you gave me tongue to speak with. Alhamdulillah, you're making me say good things, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, we're walking to, good, to do good deeds, MashaAllah. Not going to do bad deeds and hurting ourselves and stuff for Allah. Sending ourselves to the fire. A'udhu Billah. Inshallah, in the Jannah, you will meet with the Prophet. Yeah, inshallah, Ya Rabbi. The best of the creation. SubhanAllah. And how are we going to meet him? Inshallah, inshallah, we'll, we'll get to meet him. Will we meet him feeling shy because we spent, you know, 10 billion years in hellfire? Because we did all these sins with our faces all, you know, stuff a little black and then purified in the water to come and see him? I mean, how, how, how are we going to die to see the best of creation, subhanAllah? And this is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should feel more shy in front of Allah. And he sees us now, subhanAllah. He hears us now. Astaghfirullah. How do you express your love to your Prophet? MashaAllah. There are a number of ways. For me, alhamdulillah, uh, there's some things, alhamdulillah, I find easier than, than other people. Everyone has some difficulty with, with doing stuff. Some people, they pray. The Sunnah prayers the Prophet Sallallahu used to, to pray. Some people they fast Mondays and Thursdays like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some they, they, they pray at certain times of the year. They go to the Eid prayers. Alhamdulillah, don't stay sleeping and wake up at, at, at 1 o'clock in the day, almost missing Dhuhr. And then, oh no, I missed the Eid prayer with all my brothers. Stuff for Allah. They're growing their lahya. Alhamdulillah, why do I have this lahya? Because I look good with my lahya. Alhamdulillah, I'm growing it because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded to grow it. So Alhamdulillah, I'm walking around and making da'wah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah. Why do the women wear hijab? They wear hijab because they're being oppressed by their husbands? Because someone's forcing them to do it? SubhanAllah, they're wearing hijab because SubhanAllah, this is the best thing that the women can do. And they did it at the best. Allah commanded them to cover. And the Prophet's wives, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they covered. Alhamdulillah, the women cover for the sake. They want to meet Allah in a good way. Jazakallah khair. Wa yak. May Allah reward you. Ameen wa yakum. All of us, inshaAllah. All of us. Ya Rabbi, all of us will go to Ameen. 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 Jazakallah khair. Wa yak.